Whether it is a bacon toaster or a pizza ATM, by the way, it is real and it is spectacular. Wacky inventions are on full display in Daily Planet's Invent This Week. You'll see inventors of all stripes showing off their greatest creations for all of us to enjoy. Joining me for a sneak peek on what we can expect, Daily Planet host Dan Riskin. Good to have you here. Good to be here. Thanks I for having me. I love this. Okay, and let's start with what Ben and I love the most, which is bacon. Bacon okay. is uh, the, the best fruit. It's so good <laughs> it's for so you. Good. I'm telling you total lies now. Um, but so there's this, there's this internet meme that went around. It's a sticker from a hand dryer that says, push button, dry your hands, mm -hmm. but it's all graphics. And so somebody changed it to say, push button, receive bacon, because mm -hmm. it kind of looks like the red lines look like bacon coming oh, out. Boy. So this guy, Colin Furs, who's an amazing inventor who's made the world's fastest toilet and like mobility scooters that can go like 120 miles an hour and all these crazy things, he decided to try to make this wonderful machine of the gods wherein mm -hmm. you push the button and you receive bacon. Oh, stop. So Is this it? You feed, yeah, you feed bacon in the top and it's got to somehow cook it while it's making its way through and come out the bottom. And so he's just tinkering away trying to make this work. The, pro the, the risk with this kind of a machine is if it doesn't cook all the way by the time it gets to the bottom, you get some kind of gastrointestinal problem. Oh, so, so the stakes are quite high. I like undercooked bacon. So you like this... undercooked bacon? Oh, yeah. I like it rare, baby. Wow. Your <laughs> immune system and you need to have a conversation. We're strong. Yeah, We're strong. You're going to be strong. Uh, Joseph Hersher. Um, yeah. This... Talk to me about him and his, like, what his daily routine is. So about. his daily routine is He's that an inventor. He's an inventor. He's originally from New Zealand, so he's got the quirky accent. But then he moved to Brooklyn and got a hipster mustache. So he's likable for, like, eight different reasons. And the, the biggest of those reasons is what he does to make these Rube Goldberg machines. So a Rube Goldberg machine is something where... Something that's very simple, you make it as complicated as possible. So here he's, you're seeing him with one where that's helping him get ready in the morning. It irons his clothes. It helps put his shoes where they need to be. It's pulling the books off the shelf. It's going to put his hat on his head, but he's got to duck at the right moment so he doesn't get hit with a chandelier. So he builds this thing. It takes him months to figure out all the parts. It's very creative. It's using household items, but it's got to work properly. And then what he does that none of the other Rube Goldberg machine makers, what he does is to interact with it. So he makes almost like a dance routine where he gets ready just right, and the last thing that happens is the hat pops onto his head, and the whole thing has to work absolutely oh, no perfectly. Way. He's got to be in the right spot. And it's not just him. He does it with other performers. He's got one that works with a baby that we're featuring on our show, where a baby has to interact with a vibrating phone in the correct way. <laughs> and like, you know from TV, never yeah. try to get a baby to do what no. you want. No, and animals, forget it. And He's never also... get a kid a phone, because no. they, they lock it, and then it changes They lock it, or they call then... the police, or both. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. 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 Okay. So he's got that as part of his Rube Goldberg because they're not complicated enough as it is. So you right. add babies to it, it just becomes. <laughs> add a dog in there, who cares? Yeah, exactly. Uh, ATVs uh, maybe come obsolete because of the rock dog. Well, the rock dog is, I don't know that we're going to see these becoming the widespread replacement for ATVs, but this is a guy, he's a farmer in Nebraska. Nebraska, this is not where we shot this scene. Nebraska doesn't <laughs> look like that. Nebraska's flat right. with a lot of like sunflowers and fields and stuff like this. And he's a farmer and he's actually built the engine on this, is a oh, diesel wow. engine that's modified to take sunflower oil and mm. it runs on that but this thing can extend it can shorten it no. can lift its four wheels independently Stop of one it. another so it's built it's called a rock crawler it's built to go up things that you and i would have a difficult time climbing with our hands and feet like it, right. it's, it's crazy and there are these competitions where people try to climb these things and what makes this one different is that it is completely custom made. He made it himself. And the fact that he's from Nebraska, and he's actually made it road legal in Nebraska so he can drive around really? it. He gets pulled over all the time because cops all want to know what the heck it well, is. Well, sure. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I put that on my Christmas list. Exactly. Okay. Now, another pretty wild invention. Uh, apparently, we, we can take a listen to this one, so let's do that. Yeah, sure. This guy named Sam Battle. Mm -hmm. And Sam Battle is the synthesizer master. And so normally when you want to play the synthesizer, you walk up to a keyboard and you push the little buttons. Do we, no maybe... do we normally want to play the synthesizer? Well, we want somebody to play it nicely In 1987? Yeah, it was a good game <laughs> it for was. music, I think. You know, a lot of good things <laughs> happened. And so it's coming back. Okay, and nice. but, but instead of just a boring keyboard, this guy, like, integrates a Game Boy. He takes apart electronics and puts them in there because really when you're talking about a digital signal and modifying a digital signal, it can go in any direction. He has built a bicycle that he rides, and the faster he's pedaling, the faster the rhythm goes. No way. And then he's got, like, little knobs on it, and he's, like, riding around in England, being all hipster <laughs> cool and, like, riding around. And this is what inventors are. They're, they're unique people that think outside the box, that are pushing the limits. And, yes, 
so well that the synthesizer might become the music that you want to listen to in 2017. Oh gosh, in we'll 2017. just see. We'll just see. Could Life's be just a cycle, Dan. It is. It, everything We're comes back. around like a bicycle. Hey, speaking of cycle, we got to take a break, but we will be back, Dan. Thanks oh, so I see much. What you did there. Dan nice. Riskin, thanks again to see more insane inventions at home. Check out Daily Planet's Invent This Week, which runs from February 6th to the 10th at 7 p.m. Eastern on Discovery. We'll be right back.